Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Dennis Stone and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperator Rome playing as Byblos. So we are trying to go for the Tyrian Purple achievement, which means as Byblos from Phoenicia have 500 ships and a surplus of 5 dies in the capital. Uh, before we get going, I've just got back from holiday, so um, I've not kind of recorded the a video of Imperator for about a week and a half, so I may be a little bit rusty, so I'm doing this on the 18th of February. You should get this on YouTube tomorrow the 19th but um, yeah I've just got back might be a little bit rusty need to kind of get my bearings a little bit um, before I do start though I just want to thank everybody for the amazing support for the for this series uh, I mean the amount of uh, comments and likes and stuff um, it's just been amazing and I hope you guys are enjoying it I mean I've really enjoyed doing the first seven episodes and um, it's quite challenging and I'm really looking forward to see what we can actually do uh, but anyway without any further ado let's actually just quickly take stock of our situation here because yeah my my memory is really rusty here now I remember that the Seleucids attacked us, and they did take the land up north, so we need to kind of um, plan to get that back. I mean, V for Vendetta style, they properly tried to screw us over. Um, so we managed to survive. Uh, we have a lot of, kind of, well, not a lot of land, but more than enough. Now, to form Phoenicia, I'm pretty sure we need a tiny bit up there. Yeah, it's this bit up here, so we're going to need to take this coastline. But we are not ready to go against the Seleucids yet. We need them to be pulled into a major war or something like that, which would be quite nice. Um, what I think we will probably do is wait for the time is right. I'm probably going to try and take some land off the fridge. I mean, you could take some land off down south here, which would increase our economic capacity, uh, which means we could have more men, uh, make more cash and everything. So that would be pretty cool. So probably try to go against the fridge at some point. Um, before I do get everything rolling, I just wanted to thank everybody for the comments and for the tips you give to how to actually do this series and how it's like the best way to go about as Biblos. I try to take everything into account. I try to read them all and then I try to remember what you've all, what all of you guys have said. But I really do appreciate all the help I can get. Um, anyway, let's get rolling. Bim, bam, boom. So we have this first army here. Okay, they're led by Saul Manali. I remember him. He's a pretty decent general. Um, not amazing, but he, he's okay. Um, nine martial stat. He has assertive, stubborn, prominent, and abrasive. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Um, he's 71 years of age, so he's not going to last very long, I don't think. Is he dying? No, he's not. He's still as healthy as health can be. Um, I would probably like to, at some point, probably include some heavy cav in this army. Now, I think we, we do have horses. I'm pretty sure we do. If I go on to recruit to army here, yeah, we can definitely get uh, a bit of heavy cav. So I really want to get a couple of units of heavy cab to use as the first line, because the heavy cab, they do a lot of damage against archers, uh, chariots, light infantry, light cab and everything. And the AI does tend to like to put archers as his first line, so I think it'll be quite useful just to have probably maybe four units of heavy cab uh, starting out. Um, and then we'll go for the second line with the light infantry, because that doesn't really cost us that much. And then the flanking units will be the cav. Um, I would like heavy infantry, but it would just cost too much uh, to maintain. We're not powerful enough yet and these, the matter of where we don't have any iron. So we need to definitely get some iron to be able to do that. But we're not in a position to do so just yet. Um, let's take an omen. Uh, probably go for the national citizen output, to be honest. Um, I mean, I don't need manpower recovery speed. We got a manpower a little bit. We're up to 14,000. It was very, very low. And I think we did get some barracks going from what I remember. Yeah, we did. We got some barracks going to try and increase the amount of freemen, which then increases the manpower, which means we get more maximum manpower, but we also gain more men back per month. So to kind of get that manpower up quicker. Um, let's call down the Blessing of Kothar. I think we need, yeah, let's go for the extra research efficiency, the national citizen output. It would always be quite nice. It means our citizens produce more, which means more research points and uh, more commerce income, believe it or not, because citizens provide you with both. So let's go to the Blessing of Kothar here. Yeah? That should increase our, should increase it up a little bit. I'm very tempted to see at the end of the month what the tick, or it may have already taken it into account as soon as I clicked it. Oh, well, well, 168% is not too bad, actually. I'm really happy with that. What next? What next? What next? Is there any tech we could go for here? Supply limit. Could be cool. There's nothing that I really need here, to be honest. Monthly civilization change. Army morale recovery could be nice. I'm going to go for that quickly. Um, the grain rations as well could be pretty cool. Let's go for some extra pop growth. We might as well. Rule of pop gain. That could also be cool. Let's go for some of that as well. I'm not going to go over the top now. That's more than enough. I want to keep a little bit of money in reserve in case somebody decides to declare, to declare war on us, notably the Seleucids. Uh, do they like us? They do like us a little bit. They do have a Cassius Belly on us, though. But, yeah, that's a bit of a worrying problem. But I think we should be good because we do have an alliance with Egypt. 
which means that if they do attack, Egypt would come in, and they're pretty strong actually, so uh, that is also going to be really useful. Are the Frigid War again? Not yet. The best time, best thing to do would be to wait for these guys to actually get in a war, and then we could probably go in and try and take a little bit of land off them. I should probably increase the size of our army. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a supply train, definitely. Get one supply train, because I have no supply train on the army, which means that when we do actually try and fight in like, en well, enemy territory, then we can't last very long since we don't really have a supply train. So we can't carry as much food around with us. The supply train enables you to carry more food. Your armies can carry food with that supply train, but it will be a lot less. Um, crisis in the Seleucid Empire. Okay, now this is interesting. So the recent death of the Seleucid ruler has caused a great deal of political disturbance in the country. Eager to take advantage of this situation, the numerous lackeys, pretenders, and legitimate claimants to the throne have risen up to bear arms against their newly crowned Basilus Seleucos II Seleucid. Oh, please. Have they got a civil war? Please tell me they're going to have a big civil war. If it blows, we could probably do something. We need to pay real big attention to what happens now to the Seleucids. Because if they blow up, then that's when we strike. But we need to see if they blow up. We could do with them blowing up and Moria declaring war on them. I mean, the massive Morians declaring war on them while they're blowing up, which would be fantastic. But, um, hey, let's just uh, pay attention to what goes on. So let's get this, uh, so we've got the supply chain, which means I can carry a maximum of 86 food. Not too bad. Um, still make a fair bit of money, so what I'm going to do here is recruit to the army again. We're going to get some heavy cav here. It costs 0.66 to maintain. Wow. Have they increased the, um, have they had, a, have they been an update where they've increased the maintenance cost? I swear to God they have. They must have. I, even the supply chain's a bit heavier. I didn't think it was 0.75. That's interesting. Now, I remember when I launched the game, just as I got back, um, there was a slight update for Imperator, but I didn't really pay much attention to it. So maybe they've updated something. If you guys know, just let me know in the comments below, because I've not played the game for about a week and a half since I went on holiday. Um, anyway, let's get um, probably one unit. Two units is 120 about, about 130 maybe. So let's go for... That's 130, we make... Yeah, I can probably go for four, actually. Yeah, let's go for four heavy cap units. That's more than enough. I'll, I'll happily have that. Put them somewhere where the supply limit's quite high. Over here, which is pretty good. What's the weight of the army? The army weight is... 15. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Fair enough. I think we could, we could easily maintain four units of heavy calf. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And that would help, hopefully give us a slight edge in combat. I mean, it is going to be incredibly useful to have. Please, salute kids. Blow up. Please. Can, can we, like, support any pretenders or anything? I don't think so. Who are you? So that's the leader. He's the ruler. But I can't... You know, I can't really do anything there. What if I was to try and maybe inspire some disloyalty? Maybe with the Syrian governor. I mean, is, how loyal is he to the Basilus? He's not very loyal to the Basilus at all. We could inspire some disloyalty. You know what? I'm going to try and inspire disloyalty and then... Yeah, what I'm going to do here, this guy here... Um, he doesn't have governor up there? Are you kidding me? He has no governor for the moment. Okay, what I would like to do is for him to appoint a governor there. Then what I would do is I'll try to inspire disloyalty with that guy and then hopefully try and annex him. Because I know you can do that. You can inspire disloyalty. If it goes below like 40, I'm pretty sure that you can then uh, ask him to defect and join your side. So hopefully, what's this? Oh, and... Okay, I thought someone was declaring war on us then because it had the normal lag, but of course it also happens when uh, there's a new ruler coming into effect. So, so I'm on it died. Uh, so it is now our son. He's crap. He is awful. You go ask the first Aenlid, 2 nor 3 one He is awful. He's the worst character I've had in a while. God damn it. Uh, hope his wife is good. Thank God his wife is a pretty decent lady. Thank God for that. Now, I'm going to grant her a holding so she can like me. Give her one inside them. Um, now what we need to do is kind of sort out these scorned families. So, hmm. Let's have a look. The Rofer. I've got one scorned family, but, wow, and a lot of disloyal people. And that's going to be a bit of an issue here, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to put the best man for the job here because I don't, I think that's going to go away if I start. I mean, it says the Aenlid family is disloyal, but they can't because I only have one other male character. So that doesn't really make any sense. Hopefully it will go away at the end of the month. 
Now let's put a row on here. I'm just going to put the best man for the job here. You're not very loyal, but I could do with this guy being a bit more loyal. So I am going to give you the position. And then I'm probably going to give you a... Probably grant you a holding, my friend. Yeah, that should um, that should be quite nice. That should get your loyalty up more than enough. Goes down a little bit, but not too much. So that's okay. Um, there's no else we can really do here. That's what about mission-wise. No, we're pretty stuck until we acquire what, acquire what we need. Okay, hopefully at the end of the month that will go away. Anyway, influence of the Anelid family. Oh, here we go. This is an event to make up for the numbers that, because we don't have a lot of people of competence inside our ruling family, so we're going to kind of adopt someone. I'm pretty sure this is what it is. Uh, the fate of the kingdom and that of the Anelid family is always and always will be intertwined. It is therefore a matter of great urgency that there are currently not enough Anelid persons of quality to shoulder the responsibilities of the state. So I can either bring you in. You're pretty damn good. You're the researcher. Or you're all the philosopher. You're all very quite good. And who's got the least loyalty? You've got 84 loyalty. You've got 80 loyalty. Let's bring in uh, Yehomik. Why not? Yeho uh, Yehomik Mashik will be up for the task. There we go. So that got rid of the Scorn family thing, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, let's see if he's got a governor over here. There's no governor yet. Why not? Surely you would have thought he would have put up a governor or something. I mean... I'm actually in the region, maybe. Oh, no, it's in the Syria region. Okay. But there's no... What? So he's got no Syrian governor. So he's the governor of Palestine. Oh, maybe it doesn't have a governor because maybe this... No, the Seleucid haven't got a capital there, is it? Surely to God. Let's have a look. Where is he based? This guy is based in... Da, da, da. Where does it say? I know it says somewhere. Location. Location. Where is it? Location there. Seleucia Miguel. Seleucia Miguel. I'm going to find out where that is. Um, so, Miguel. Here we go. Seleucia Miguel. Oh, that's all the way over there. So, okay, that's cool. We just really not put a governor in power there yet. Hopefully, we'll put a, one that's not going to be very loyal. And we'll try and get him to join our side. Uh, we're still making money. Uh, we're making a lot less cash now. I think that's due to the fact that our ruler... We had m probably better finesse or something, but... It doesn't matter, we're still making 4.62 per month, so that's not too bad. And we are drilling our armies, you need to remember that, increases the um, the maintenance of the army by 33%. But that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. At least now we have a more kind of, sort of a more competent army, or something that resembles a bit more of an army, I've got to say. But we could do with a bit more cash, actually. Could do with some more political influence, so I could actually invest in some uh, provincial procurators. Especially in this place, because this place where we have all the, um, the barracks... We have a good couple of barracks in there, which means that we get more manpower. And then, of course, if we install provincial procurators, it increases pop output by 4%. So then Freeman produce 4% more. And that means we get more manpower, which means we make more per month and so forth. Um, we've got all the tree advances. That's pretty cool. Uh, subject opinion of us, endorsed party costs. War score costs minus 5%. That could be useful. Um, but I don't think it's really useful at this point in time. Um, veterans due. So, after wars, toil, and hardship, it is with hopeful eyes that the veterans of our armies look towards a life of retirement. A life of rural farming with promised farmland often parceled out to the most deserving. Okay, what can I offer something? I don't have enough farmers for veterans, but given them what they want, may assuage their anger. So, I lose state owned farmlands from Bar al -Beka. Where the hell is Bar al Bar al -Beka. Is that a city or. I have no idea where it is. Well, let's let's have let's have a look where it is. So it's um, bar, is it bar Balbeca? No, oh, no, I need to do the um, that thing there, don't I? There we go. So where is that? Okay, that's here. But is there a lot of uh? I don't really make. Do I make a lot of tax out of this place? Not really. 0.13. So I don't really. I don't think it's worth it. So I'm not going to offer him anything because I don't want to lose any army morale or gold or stability. So. It doesn't matter, I'll just lose the unrest and the local tax. It's, it's not like it produces a lot of gold anyway, so... I mean, look, we were making 0.13, it's down at 0.11, so I lose, like, 0.02. It's, it's ridiculous, it's peanuts, so it really wasn't worth it. Uh, are the fridge at war? No, they're not. Uh, so, Lucid's still not at war. Please just be destroyed by somebody. Armenia? Ooh, can I have an alliance with you fellas? Because I would really like to be friends with you. And I'm going to improve opinion with you guys. Definitely see if we can get something going here. What are our national ideas? The amount of armies, slave output, and ruler pop game, which gives me the national slave output. Okay. Maybe get an alliance going with Armenia. It would be nice. 
That would actually give us a second ally in the fight against the Seleucids, but I'm pretty much like limited to what we can do here. Because if I declared a war against, um, um, what's it named, against the Fridge, they still have quite a few men. And yeah, I think they have a pretty big navy as well, which means you could transport men over, so I'm not really ready to take them on yet. We just really need them to be occupied, and then the more occupied they are, the better it will be. Do I have a claim on these guys? Apamine, where's that? No, that's all the way up there. I probably should go for a claim in Ga in Galilee. Galilee, probably probably get a claim there. Let's get a claim going. You never know when we might need something. It cost me, wow, 20 political influence? Are you kidding me? Um, fabricate a claim. Um, let's just do it anyway. I was hoping to save up the political influence to invest in the provincial procurators, but it doesn't matter. We'll just um, we'll wait a little bit longer. Not not much of an issue. I have quite a bit of cash. We could hire mercs, which is nice. Any tech here we could go for. Anything really nice. Um, nothing really. When do we get the next level? Our researchers are not brilliant. Um, can I hold some games or anything like that, maybe? Hmm. Is there any way I can, I can arrange adoption to find a new family member, but don't really need that just yet. Um, can't do that there. I'd have to go to the government tab, I think, to hold games. I could hold some games. I lose a bit of gold, but um, I gain extra popularity from the games. But I am gaining quite a bit of popularity. Well, not quite a bit. I'm gaining 0 0.05. Maybe we could get it up a little bit more. I mean, 89, but it's a lot of gold in it to waste. You know what? Oh, God. And these guys, the successors are so not loyal. We've got real bad loyalty problems in office. I mean, are you guys? It's not going up, but it's not going down. Okay, that's not too bad. Need to really kind of sort this out. Um, it would be nice to tell me. How much the loyalty is going up and down here without having to click on the character. Um, he's got the lowest loyalty here. This guy has the Sahoma. But he's going up, which is nice. So I probably don't... That's fine. So he's not going to lose any more loyalty. Let's see... Who is losing any of this? What about this guy? Is he losing? He's losing a bit of loyalty. I'm going to give him a holding. We'll increase our cash a little bit. Might as well. There we go. I'll increase your lord to it. Can I grant you a holding? No. Can I grant my wife a holding? I can grant my wife a holding, but I'm not going to. I'm going to give it to somebody else in the government. Uh, maybe a researcher. Is, do it. What about the researchers? What's their loyalty? Yeah, this guy is not loyal at all. He's losing a bit of loyalty. Um, hmm. What about my primary heir? Can I give him... Can't give him anything. So I'm probably just going to end up... Keep, I'll just keep the last one. We'll keep it in case I ever need to give it to somebody who's like in... In a pinch, if we ever need to hand it over to someone. Um, the Seleucids are still not going to war with anybody. Um, Grimilki falls ill. Who are you? Bill is a homer and my primary heir. Mm. Yeah, I don't really want you to die because you're my brother. And yeah, I'm going to try and get you to seek... Well, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not going to get you to seek treatment. Hopefully you can pay for it for yourself. But yeah, I can't afford to. Can't afford to. 200 gold, no way. Please tell me the wife is pregnant. No, she's not. Could do with another child. Well, I could change the law, maybe. To... I probably should, actually. That enables female children to see to the throne if there's no valid heirs. Okay. But will greatly decrease... This will affect the perceived legitimacy of a dynasty, but... It will decrease the chances of a failed succession. Okay, we could actually pass Ignatic Cognatic because if I did that and then this guy, our ruler, had no other kind of heir and it would be a female. This means this woman would then be able to marry probably one of the male characters in Macedon who has uh, the blood of the Arjaj and the blood of Antipatros. And we could get it, our children could get that. Because so I think it has to be passed, one of the two is passed through male characters. So I think we... I think we pass it. I mean, I lose, what, 12 stability? But I'll do that. Yeah, let's pass uh, Ignatic Cognatic. I lose a bit of uh, political influence, but I'd sooner pass it now than later. You never know when you might need it. So that increases the chances of her being, her being in power. And she's quite good, actually. She's not too bad. And since we don't have many characters for our ruling dynasty, I'd sooner kind of have more people to choose from. 
Okay, what next? What next? What next? Uh, probably get some buildings going, maybe. It would be nice to probably fill out some of the um, settlements that don't have buildings. Maybe something in... Over here, maybe. It would be nice. Could also probably try and go for another city down here. But I don't... I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to definitely think about it. Anyway, priestly legitimation. So the legitimacy afforded by having the support of the priesthood cannot be underestimated. The piety of Ugolas I alienated as not going to notice by the devout high priest Hamilcar Chelbesid. The high priest sings the praises of the Suffet not only to the gods but also to the priesthood, who reassure the people that Byblos is administered by godly hands. Okay... So I thank him for his support. He, I gained legitimacy, which is pretty neat. I need some. I'm very low on legitimacy. And the Carhan, so the priest guy, gains some loyalty. Or I gain 20 legitimacy and lose 5 stability. Hmm. What? Let's have a look at our legitimacy here. It is going down quite a bit. Um, this, yeah. I probably could leverage the priesthood, to be honest. Yeah, let's leverage the priesthood. I'll lose a little bit more stability, but I'll soon get that up. And what I want to do is pay a little bit of that to increase legitimacy. There we go. So now it changes a tiny bit. Could do with it increasing a bit more. The negative stability is not helping. Maybe if we take the sacrifice of the gods cost minus 5%, which I will do, it would probably help if I was to then go to the religion section and sacrifice to the gods. It cost a fair bit. Hopefully we'll get a good event which gives us stabilities on the side. Maybe maybe something like that. Anyway, let's go back to uh, developing our lands here. Is there any buildings I could build in the city? We could go for somewhere else over here. Probably go for another lib, to be honest. I'm very tempted to do so. Let's go for another lib in there. Hell yeah, let's get that citizen ratio up over here. The Seleucids... No, the fridge is not at war. The Seleucids are not at war anymore. Well, they weren't at war, actually. They were allied with Atropine, which is over here. Uh, who died? Um, oh, my wife died. Okay, now this is interesting. This opens up the possibility to get another wife, and therefore a younger one, therefore more children. Let's have a look at the main characters of this massive... Oh, no, maybe the Egyptian side of things. Yeah, let's have a look at the main characters in the uh, ruling dynasty. So, we'll find characters. Uh, well, not that. want the ruler family. There we go. Uh, gender, we want female. Um, want the youngest ones possible. That sounds really wrong every time I say it, but um, hopefully someone with the blood of... Hmm. I don't think any of them have... They don't have the blood of the... Uh, of the. Yeah, they don't really have the... Oh, they blood of the Lagide. Ooh, extra research points for that. But we need to find somebody with it. Now, what about you? How old are you, my dear? 23? Can't marry you because you're already married. You're already married as well. Looks like we're going to have a hard time to find somebody to marry down here. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do it over there. That's not a problem. Let's just go to Macedon. We'll see if they've got something. So same principle. Here we go. Blood of the Arjads. She's 28 though. She's 13. Does she? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to wait for her. I'm going to wait for her to turn 15. When is she born? What is her age? Born. It's got to be the details of when she was born. I have no idea where to find it. I can't remember. Here we go. 13 years old. So, there. so 24th of March. You know what? We're going to wait a year. I'm going to wait a year. 24th of March. A little bit more than a year. We'll wait just so I can marry that young girl. It sounds so wrong, but I don't want to get the blood of the Argiads and the blood of um, whatever it's called. Um, blood of Antipatros. I don't know which one. I think it's the... I think it's the blood of the Argiads, which can be passed... From, through female characters and blood of antipatros is only passed through male men i'm pretty sure that's it but i'm just gonna wait 24th of march a year and a year and a bit we can easily wait that's not a problem i'm fine with that um tech wise we're still pretty damn good gotta say it's uh gone down a little bit could do with getting some more actually i don't know why it's that low probably need some more citizens have a lot of freemen a lot of slaves Maybe, yeah, they're still promoting in some places, so I'm not really worried. It's just going to go up in a bit, in a little while. So, yeah, there's no really wrong with that. I am promoting pots, I think. Have a look over here. Quickly check all this. It's all very important. Uh, here, we, yeah, we are promoting some. So that's not a problem. It is going to rise at some point. 
Let's see what we can build. Maybe... Let's go to the macro builder. Let's go for the construct buildings. Maybe some slave estates. Got to be somewhere where we increase our cash flow. Um, I have a claim on Galili now, which is pretty cool. Maybe... What's that? 0 0.08, 0 0.07. 0 0.11. This could be nice in there. What, did, what does this produce? This produces wine. And I think we are going to get the slave estate. We'll do one of there. We'll do a slave estate in there. Increases the cash flow a little bit. So, why not? Always worth it. I'm not going to go any further because I need to save some cash in case we ever need to go to war. I really would like to take on the fridge. Oh, okay. Here we go. This is interesting. At war with Armenia, Heraclea Pontica. Okay, who started the war? Okay, this could be interesting. This might be our way in. God, they have a lot of men. Jesus Christ. We'll, we'll watch this war, see how it pans out. We'll see how it pans out. If it does pan out in a favourable way, then we could possibly intervene and do something. We just need to make sure they get all the men over to the other side, and then we quickly occupy everything, and then just kind of block everything. That could be cool. Um, we'll have to follow that. We'll have to pay close attention. Anyway, peculi peculating officials. So it has come to our attention that our trusted advisor, Gadal Hanid, has been siphoning funds from our treasury into his own pocket. Damn, okay, so uh, you've been uh, cheating me. So what happens? The only real punishment will deter embezzlers, so I gain a lot of cash. Wow. Also gain a bit of tyranny. Um, what happens? I can imprison him, I think. I'm going to imprison the guy. We gain a lot of cash. Um, and I'm just going to imprison him. He loses loyalty, but yeah, you're going to be imprisoned, my friend. So that's him gone. Uh, I'll put a new Mephiched instead. And I'll probably put this guy, your best man for the job. So you're going to go there. That's no problem. So that got rid of the guy in prison. I probably... I probably could execute him. You know what? Let's execute the guy. There we go. Boom. That's him gone. That's the problem solved. <laughs> okay, and we have a load of cash, which is good, which is good. Which means possible mercs. Which means I probably could intervene and probably take over what we need here. Hmm. I'm very tempted. How much would these cost? 23 every month. How much do I make? I don't make enough. 23 a month, that means I would lose probably 20 a month. 10 months, that's 20 times 10. That's 200. The last year, it's, it's just too much. What about this one here? Yeah, it's still too much. I'm not good enough just yet. Hopefully all their armies are over there. I don't know if it would give us enough time to... I mean, what is it fort like? We've got no forts. Which means we could just march up and just take what we need. Do I have a claim on these fellas? I do have a claim... Um, they bring in a couple of allies. Bactria, wow, they bring in Bactria, they bring in Parthia, but they're quite far away. Now, the time they would take to cross, I can bring Egypt in in Lehan. Um, they have 100 and some 53 cohorts. What about Egypt? What do you have? You have 103. Now, this is interesting. Do they have any ships? They do have a lot of ships, but none this side. Egypt have a fair few, which means they could bring some in. Egypt are not at war. You know what? I'm going to end the episode here, guys. End it a little bit earlier than I normally do. It's like 28 and a half, 28 minutes and a half. Only a minute and a half off the normal time. And I'm going to have a think off camera what I can do here. I'm incredibly tempted to really try and go for this. I mean, we could probably take back what we... Yeah, we could probably take our land back across the coast. It'd be very, very tempting. Anyway, as usual, thank you so much for joining me, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more great Imperator Realm content, also consider subscribing to the channel. Anyway, thanks again for joining me, guys, and hopefully catch you all in the next one. Later, people.